could be dangerous, folks. I'm in a very fragile state of mind. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know, I said my coconut, I said coconut, coconut, coconut. glasses of champagne at this party in Burlington, Iowa, and some red wine too, and then I drove home, of course, that's the way we do it in Russia, I drive better that way, but don't tell the police, speaking of the police, there's always problems with the police in Russia, still now, it's different though. Putin and his, his mafia, they control the economy, they control the oil, they control everything, they control all the money. Putin has 50 billion American dollars and 100 dollar bills, but Putin cannot control vodka. station very friendly lady said hi Red how you doing and I said I am not proud today I am a secret agent from Moscow and I'm here to investigate the selection of beverages you have here and I will report you to the secret police if I do not have what I desire what I desire right now is a full case of Stolichnia vodka. All I see here is big gulp, is no good. All I see here is Coca Cola, is no good. All I see here is strange beverages, but I need vodka right now. Coming into Dubuque, I got a ticket there once. It's very difficult. 
is very difficult here in the Buke. It's very, 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 very difficult for a Russian man with no plates to go to the Buke. And no papers to boot. But I wasn't too worried. I wasn't too worried. I went first to cases. I went to cases, no vodka. I went to come and go, no vodka. I went further. I went to the Julian. I went to the Julian Hotel, no vodka. Then by chance, by chance, by faith, I stopped into the bank and they had plenty of vodka for me. I Sit here in the shade of this willow tree. 